What's up, everybody? Aaron here, Salty Gaming. Try to turn this mic down a little bit. Bringing you a video of Fancy Star Episode 1 and 2 Plus and Action Replay Codes on the Dolphin Emulator. Uh, we did this for the Dolphin. I get a lot of questions about which Action Replay should I buy, which in this. This may be the easiest way to, to get your classic fix, you know, on, I'm running it on a Mac, you know, obviously it works on Windows. I'm not going to assault your intelligence here, I'm showing you how to enter some codes here. Um, it's pretty simple. Fancy Star doesn't actually come with codes, so it's kind of the same concept. I just Googled PSO Episode 2 codes, copied, paste. For some reason, I can't type the name here, so I'm just going to copy that and put it in there. I've already done this for codes, um, but, you know just to kind of get you started another option maybe people didn't think about because i haven't ever actually messed with the dolphin emulator um so this is my first like one of my, i just downloaded the other day and got to play with it most of the games work some games don't work fancy star is actually one of them that works really well you know, there's all kind of settings you can play with and everything um things you got to disable um you'll see the frame rate if you pay attention there it won't drop um but yeah so pretty much you don't need a master code you know i know you see a lot of y'all look at my what codes do you use Episode 1 and 2, you know, for American version, whatever, 1.0 is what I downloaded. Um, you know, Dolphin Emulator 5.0 is what I'm using. Um, I'm actually using the GameCube adapter. Got that hooked up into the back of the Mac into two USB ports and got a GameCube controller rolling. It plays just fine. It plays just like it. Having, I don't know if split screen works. I would think it did, but I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but just to kind of show you the thing. The game looks great, you know, in 1080p. Uh, I've, did, uh, I've got it on uh, three times native. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is 1 and 2 plus with all the quests. Um, you know, obviously I didn't put, like, enable all rares. But the same kind of codes um, that I've been showing in my other videos, what works here. You know, got a little pinkle level 3 he's showing. And you see here, bam. Looks just like all the other videos I made. You know, the codes work. Got all the quests unlocked. Um, again, this is plus, you know, so it has all the quests. Um, there are more codes, it seems like, it out there for the regular version. Because um, the codes obviously don't intermingle. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the Maceda one, like the no, one on the GameCube that I was using, you press down and you get like infinite Maceda. Um, and this one, it's, well, it's, you get, like, Max Maceda. And this one, it's actually Infinite Maceda. So, like, what I did was, like, you know, you start with, like, $300. So, like, I put it into the bank. And it, it doesn't get rid of it. It's kind of like infinite item usage. So, I just kind of had to keep duping the money times two, times two, times two. Until where I got up to 999 And then I had to um, deposit that in the bank. And then reset it, turn that code off. So, when I actually use the bank mod, which I'm demonstrating right here, you know, just make sure you have items in. You know, Saber, and then using all these are links that show the forms of what the numbers are. Um, that shows, like right here, bam, you just, that's the numbers next to it is what you put in, how much money you put in, and then you take it out. Just make sure you always have that money in before you go to take that item uh, or have an item in. Uh, it'll freeze it up. Um, so, bam, you see, we're gonna put in here, you know, the money. Simple as that. One, four, six. Eight, eight. And then you hit take item. Bam! There's a pushing bag right there. Pretty easy. And you can actually take multiple as long as you have more items in the in the in the bank. Um, but that's it. So, um, and we got equip. Now again, there's all sort of hacks. So I mean, for a lot of you that want to get these, like you know. Didn't get to do this. The action replays cost $60, $70, $80. Again, if you do want it for the game, keep looking at my other videos. The new ones off Amazon don't work. You have to be able to add codes to it. And they won't allow you to add codes because fans are starting to come with codes. Um, we got all the areas open. I like the Dolphin emulator. I'm running, what's this? I bought this Mac like 2014. You know, it's got, you know, it's, it's pretty powerful, but. It's not, the Dolphin emulator, like, time splitters doesn't run right. Bloody War. There's some, like, you can play with the settings and stuff like that. Most of it says playable, but, I mean, Fancy Star works great. Um, using the GameCube controller, it acts just like I didn't have to hit any configuring. You know, works great. Um, 
So for all you out there, they're like, oh man, it's expensive. You know, copy fancy stars expensive. Here's your cheapest route. So again, pretty much simple. Just kind of run through here and show y'all a little bit. And if you got questions, you know, I have it with all the information in the in the description. So just be sure to check that out. Dolphin 5.0, pretty simple to install. Download the ISO for the GameCube, Fancy Star Online. Add the action replay codes. Um, you know, if you're gonna use, you can use a Wii remote. I haven't, I haven't set that up because I have the GameCube adapter for Smash Bros on the Wii U. So I literally just downloaded the. You have to download a little. Um, you have to download a little script or something for that though, which I'll hide the link in there. It's in the wiki for Dolphin. Again, all that information is online. And you do that, restart your computer, bam, it works just fine. Plug the GameCube controller in. You see, I'm just running around like it looks like all my other videos, except for it's much sharper because the Dolphin up, upgrades it. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe. Man, I got over 100 subscribers now. I don't even update it too much. I need to get better about that. Um, try to answer your guys' questions. But again, when some of y'all ask questions, it's like, hey, where where did you do you have PSO European codes? Like, no. But you know what I did is I plugged in Google when I typed in Fancy Star Online PSO AR codes. Like, you know, I'm not trying to act like I don't want to help you guys. Come on, guys, use your brain. You know, I set all this up by myself. I'm not the most computer hackish guy. Um, but again, I, I try to get you in the right direction. But I thought this was cool. Thought it would help you guys out. I was just please like, subscribe, check out my other videos, man. If you guys want to see any content, got any questions, help, help me out. Let me know. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day. Hope you guys get your fancy start kicking again. Thanks, guys.